Okay, so we're gonna put these files and we're gonna prune, which means get rid of what we don't need within the front end project. So within the SRC, which stands for source, the source code of the project, we're gonna make a components folder. Now this components folder will have all the React components basically. So app.tsx. Now we don't actually need this app.txx, we can just remove it. Now we will use this scope.css later. Now in general, I type control K S to save all them files. In general, we will use a library called Tailwind CSS. We'll avoid using CSS where possible, but we'll use Tailwind CSS for most styles. Now we'll get onto that in a minute. We don't need tests for this project. There we go. Now we're gonna prune this. We don't need to import React in all of these. Now, before we go further, I will show a few extensions that are gonna be helpful for this course. Now, firstly, we have a React, we have a React, simple React snippets. This is one of them. Now, there are probably different snippet things, snippet extensions that might be more up to date by the time you're watching this. So go ahead and install them, but we're using simple React snippets for this, and it has SFC, which we'll use to define components. Now, we will use functional components and React hooks for these for this course. So we're gonna have const app. So let's remove this garbage first of all, it's very confusing. Gone, okay. So what is a component, if you didn't know? Well, a component is basically a container of HTML code that is used to build a UI. Is it literally beeping? Oh my dears. Let's make an example of a component. So here's just some random account. Here we go. So this is a guild icon. We can call this a guild icon component. This is a channel tab. This could be called a channel tab. This is a message component and it contains everything to do with a message. This is a av user avatar component if you want. This can be a text channel component. This can be a message box component. Hopefully you get the point by now. We can separate things on the page into components instead of making a, a web app that's just glued together in code and dependent on each other. Now this is very good for many reasons, but we're not gonna get into that. We're, we're gonna build a, a Discord client. That's what we're gonna do. So let's have div in app and we're gonna make the good old hello world we're gonna call it hello earth so we're less generic now we are hosting this let me open this we are hosting it here hello earth now I'm actually gonna use kebab case for these file names now you'll notice that index.tsx is being used Notice here that we'll use index.css for global styles. I guess we can get rid of this for now, this boilerplate code that we were given. Now index.tsx, this is the code that renders our app. Now if we remove this code, what do you expect to see? Nothing. Nothing's there. Hello Earth. You notice that our special styles have gone. No need to worry. In index.css, we can import. We're going to use an import statement. We're not importing a URL. It's fine. We're going to go into front end and we're going to install. 
Tailwind CSS. Okay, apologies if my PC randomly beeps. Uh, it is 75 degrees. I don't know. I don't know how it gets that hot. <laughs> it's a mystery. But it, it does beep when it gets hot. So Tailwind CSS. This is like Bootstrap. Now, Bootstrap is what we've been using in other courses and tutorials. Now, I pref to be honest, after using Tailwind CSS, I prefer this. So, this was designed with Tailwind CSS, what you're looking at. Now, it has almost anything you need with CSS, basically. And it adds it in HTML classes. Let me explain that better. So... If, let's say we want to make change the background color. We can type background color. And it has a bunch of presets. It has way too many presets, to be honest. Let's say we want it BG Indigo 900. Well, in app.tsx, all we need to do is add a class name. BG Indigo 900. It's not going to do anything yet because we actually need to import this in index.css. We can we can actually do this in index.tsx, but I'd prefer to keep all the CSS logic in this file. So we're going to import. Now, we're going to import. We use a this tilde to access node modules. We go into Tailwind CSS. Let me just open it so that you can see what's going on. So Tailwind, C Tailwind CSS, dist. So distributable files, files that are ready to go. And then we have Tailwind.min.css. Now, I don't think we need the slash here, so I'm just going to keep it like that. And it works! So that's how we import a CSS file with no modules.